All right, so here he is. You can argue he is the best pound-for-pound pound male fighter in the world today, the UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky, and he continues to add layers and wrinkles to his game. Absolutely incredible all he has accomplished thus far. He's a tremendous fighter, and John, you look at his style and you think to yourself, this would translate weight classes, pound for pound. That's the definition. He is pound for pound. And that was on full display when he just dismantled the great Max Holloway. But tonight in front of him, he has a very different challenge. It's not a guy he's seen before. He's got a formula to plan inside the octagon. And if anybody can do that, it's Alexander Volkanovsky. And one thing that has been key to his success, he's just never been flat on fight night. Never. Always seems to have his best. We'll see if he has it all going here tonight. This place is absolutely deafening as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion makes the walk for his latest title defense. This is a huge fight, as big a fight as we can put together at 155 pounds, but the champion thinks it's going to be one side. Yeah, skill for skill, he's one of the best fighters in the world. That's why when you look at the pound for pound rankings, you always see his name right amongst the top of the guys on the list. He has every skill in mixed martial arts, but I believe it's his mind that separates him from the rest. He has a skill trap of a mind and believes without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best fighter in the world. Yeah, he was carrying himself this week like a guy who knew something we didn't. We'll see just how one-sided this fight could be in a matter of moments. Charles Dubronx Oliver has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Gabrox Oliveira! And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. Ask and you shall receive, especially when you have put forth the body of work like Alexander Volkanovsky has. He wanted to move up, test himself at 155 pounds, and man, does he get a challenge tonight in Charles Dubronx Oliver. When he was playing rugby league, Johnny was over 200 pounds, so you don't imagine he'd be undersized, but it's the skills that I believe will give him a chance. He can do everything inside the octagon, but he will need to do everything if he wants to beat Charles Oliveira, one of the toughest, most exciting guys the UFC has ever seen. Shots being landed on both sides. Oh, here we go. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up his shoot I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do it, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. Stop that. You don't know what, run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he 
I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice kick. Oh, a huge block there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh! They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. Oliver doing the right things defensively. Big body kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? One minute now to go in round one. The overhand left is true. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Misses with the left hook. Final seconds here. Pressing here could be the oh, beginning of the oh. end. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. You really rock from that round. He does not want to be in this fight anymore. I need you to go out there. I need you to finish him, okay? He doesn't want to be there. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, five minutes down. Here we go with Ready round fight. two. Charles right. Oliveira versus Alexander Volkanovski. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice strike landed there by Volko. Oh, back and forth we go. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, another beautiful takedown stuff there. Quick reaction by the fighter, and he's able to stay upright yet again. Well, he recognizes his advantage. He understands that he's much better on the feet than this Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. So every time a takedown comes in his direction, he thwarts it, and then he gets right back to work with his hands. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's to take him down. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big knee lands there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Oliveira. Nice defense there, huge block. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. The speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat. The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. 
20 seconds left. Oliveira getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, round three coming up next. What are you doing, Stan? You got to set up these shots. You just can't go out there and telegraph the shots. They're never going to work. All right? You got to set up these takedowns with punches. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Volkanovski's in half goal. Get the ball here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Volkanovski's right back to the full mount here. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh, big elbow. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Volkanovski. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Volkanovski. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Great submission defense. Final seconds of round three. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here, Pineville. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. Good round. That's what I'm talking about right there. Your punches look amazing. You're finding your range. You're connecting on his chin whenever you want. You're landing at will. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Back to the 
jab now, no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice job by Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands flush to the head. He's trying to recover full guard there. Olivera's trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he's out. Nice shot there by the champ. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these takes these submissions. Volkanovski's in half court. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dorse. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Volkanovski trying to escape. How did he get out again? I have no idea how this guy has not tapped yet. Mm, that was nice. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh, my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the point of the base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off more. Find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, take a seat. Ela acha espira. Look, you're being overly aggressive right now, okay? You're being way too hyper on this fight. I need you to calm down. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice kick landed there by Volker. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, you can hear the crowd as yet another calf kick lands. Pretty swollen now. Well, he's at a point now where even if he checks it, it still is very damaging. He waited too long to address that attack. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Volkanovski gets the single leg takedown, well played. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Volkanovski's back in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Big ground and pound. Transition. All right, 
Josh, and that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Volkanovski's back to the side control now. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking the spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily. Posturing up and, and making these shots. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, real good submission attempt now. That one looks tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. One minute to go in the fight. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going into the eye. He needed to address this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx. All right, so there it is. A lot of fans expected Charles Oliveira to get the finish tonight. He doesn't, but still a dominant performance and a decision win. Just dominant and showing once again the evolution of Charles Oliveira, not only physically, but mentally. He goes the distance and he gets the job done.